Hey guys, today I am bringing you my June TBR. I can't believe it's June. I'm so excited that it's June though because this month is my birthday month, a a. And it's also VidCon later this month, which if you didn't know, I'll be at VidCon. I'm not only excited for VidCon, but I'm excited for pre-VidCon because if you didn't know, the Booksplosion crew, myself, Christine Riccio of Pullman and his Books, and Kat O'Keefe of Tastic are doing this awesome bookish cosplay event at the Barnes & Noble in Orange the day before VidCon and we're super pumped about it. I'll leave more information to that down below if you want to join us. You don't have to be attending VidCon to go to this event, so come join us, come hang out, it's gonna be a party. We're dressing up as some awesome characters. I can't tell you what they're gonna be though, because I don't want to spoil you, but I'm super freaking pumped for this event and I want you guys to come hang out with us. So if you're able to, definitely come join us. I'll leave more information to that down below. But overall, I'm just super pumped for June and all that it has to offer. I want to do a lot of writing this month and I want to do a lot of reading this month. I really want to kill it when it comes to reading. So without further ado, let me show you guys the books that I am planning to read in the month of June. First up on my list is The Titan's Curse by Rick Riordan. This is the third book in the Percy Jackson and the Olympian series. If you saw my May wrap up, I finally read The Sea of Monsters. Review is coming soon. And so I'm just super excited for this series now. I feel like I'm back in it and I'm in it for the long haul. I'm really stoked about this one specifically because I've heard so many people say that this is their favorite book in the series. Not only am I going to be reading The Titan's Curse, but I'm also going to be reading The Battle of the Labyrinth, the fourth book in the Percy Jackson and the Olympian series. And can you guess what other book I'm going to read? That's right, folks. I'm going to be reading The Last Olympian, the last book in the Percy Jackson and the Olympian series. Look at me. I'm committing myself to this series. It's about dang time. It's been a long time coming. Does this mean we're going steady? So yes, I am going to be marathon reading the rest of the series this month, and I'm super pumped about it, mostly so people can stop commenting, you have to read the Percy Jackson series or I will kill you. Even though once I finish off this series, I'm sure people are gonna be like, read the Heroes of Olympus series or I will kill you. I'll get to that eventually, but right now I'm focusing on finishing this series. And once I finish this series, I feel like I'm gonna take a little bit of a break from Rick Riordan's books just because I want a little bit of a breather, you know? The next book I'm planning to read this month is Julia Vanishes by Catherine Egan. I was sent this book for review from Penguin Random House, so I wanna read this book and review it for y'all. When I first heard this title, Julia Vanishes, I automatically thought that this was some kind of horror story because that just kind of sounds like a horror story to me. I don't know about you, but I read that title. I'm just like, horror story. That is a horror story. But no, it's not a horror story at all. This is the story of a girl who has the ability to kind of be invisible. It's like she can't be fully invisible, but she can make people like unaware of her presence, I believe. She's a thief and she's a spy and she gets caught up in this sticky situation and she has a hard time getting out of that situation. So it sounds really interesting. I wasn't expecting this to be a fantasy book, but I'm also interested to learn more about this world. The description doesn't give too many details about what this world is like, so I'm really interested to learn more about that world. But overall, I'm really looking forward to reading this story and kind of seeing what it's all about. The last book that I want to read is one that I'm not 100% sure that I'm going to get to, but that is The Bad Beginning, the first book in the A Series of Unfortunate Events series. I've talked about the series a lot on my channel and how this was kind of like the spark for me. This is what got me really excited for reading as a child. So I really wanted to go back and revisit these stories and reread them. Also, if you didn't know, this is being turned into a Netflix series, which is super exciting exciting and I've been seeing pictures from the set and it's just gotten me overly excited about these books again. So I'd really like to start rereading the series before the show starts. So I definitely want to try to pick up this book this month and read it but I'm not sure if it's going to happen. So those are the books that I'm planning to read in the month of June. You guys should let me know down below what books you're planning to read this month. Also if you've read the Percy Jackson series let me know down below which book is your favorite because I'm curious to know what book is your favorite within that series. Also if you like this video be sure to give it a big thumbs up. I post videos every Monday. Wednesday and Friday, so click subscribe if you want to be notified for when I post new videos. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you soon with a new video. Bye, choo. If that makes anything cut, anything at all. You guys, should let me know down below if you.